Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom and today I'm back with more from the Wilmington Flea Market in Wilmington, Vermont. Now let's see what else we can find. And they stand on their own too. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I've got a lot more flea market videos coming up. And remember, if I get to 40,000 subscribers, I will do a tour of the Nerd Cave. I'm a big fan of scale models, statues, figurines, especially of cars and airplanes. And this really caught my eye. I've seen this type of plane for sale at a lot of other flea markets and online, but I really don't know much about them. I'm not sure when they were made or who made them or what they're worth. I would guess it's probably from the 80s, but that's just a total guess. So if anybody out there knows more about these, please let me know in the comments. Excuse me. Hi, you have 20 on this, I think. Would you take 15? I think I'm going to stick with the 20. 20. I just put it out. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll take it for 20. I would have preferred to pay 15 for it, but I think 20 is fair, and I think it's got to be worth at least that, hopefully. I thought this was kind of neat. It looks like one of those fire trucks that you'd see at an airport. And he was asking 20 bucks for it. Not sure who made it or when it's from, but I would guess probably the 60s or 70s. <laughs> Do you remember this, the Floby? Floby, yeah. It was the you'd hook uh, the clippers up to the vacuum cleaner yeah. and cut your hair. Yeah. This looks like probably one of the original ones. <laughs> No. Remember the Drew Carey show? I don't remember them doing characters or uh, toys for the Drew Carey show. That was her. Yep, yep. I don't think I've ever seen these before at a flea market. These are cereal bowls from McDonald's from the uh, early to mid 80s. Oh, okay. Yeah. I apologize. I don't remember what he was saying and I just couldn't hear it in the video. Hamburger, hamburger looks different. Oh, this is 83, this is 85. Oh, okay. He's a different design. Yeah, yeah. How much would you be asking on, like, the bowls? The bowls, how many we got? I see three, and I guess they come with a lid. Uh, 20 for all. He said $20 for all three. How about 15 for the three, so five a piece? I'm sorry, uh, I'd like to get 10 each on the bowls. Oh, you said 20 before, but... Yeah, 20 for the three. So if you couldn't hear that, he said $20 for all three or $10 a piece, which is not terrible, but it's just more than I wanted to pay, so I did pass. Here's a Buzz Lightyear 100 Years of Disney Glass. It's from McDonald's, and I think it's from 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And at the time, I didn't have it in my collection, so of course I picked it up. Hi, is this yours? How much is this glass? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. 
He was asking three dollars, which is a very good deal for those glasses. Here's a box full of old Matchbox toys, and I guess some Hot Wheels too, probably. Uh, these ones are mostly from the 70s and 80s, which is pretty much the time period I'm most interested in. But none of these really caught my eye. If this van and um, this London Double Decker bus were in better condition, I might have been interested in those. I remember I used to have a lot of these character puzzles back when I was a kid. You know, back in the late 70s, early 80s. And I seem to remember some of them had little handles on each piece. Don't know if I'm misremembering that or not. And I definitely remember the television commercial for Mousetrap. As a collector, I'm always looking for new display cases, so this one here on the left caught my eye. That's uh, very hard to make. The display case? Yeah. You made it? or No, I didn't make it, but I, I looked at it and tried to make it. It's, it's hard to make. Yeah, I can imagine. What are you asking for on the display case? Well, what do you think is a fair price? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll take uh, $18. Okay. It's actually not a bad right. price. 18 I'm sure it would cost way more if you were to buy it online. Or anywhere new, actually. Cast iron. $22. Yeah, I don't know anything about cast iron. If there are any cast iron cookware aficionados out there, let me know why do you like it so much. I, I've actually never used a cast iron pan. Does it actually make the food taste better? And if so, how does that work exactly? 28 20 bucks. It could be yours. It's a really nice one. It really is. I, I love the blue ones. They are nice. Yeah. Scratch and re them. Yeah. However. Yeah. And it's not like stealing a chisel where you would ruin the temper. Yeah, well, I'll show you what happens when you um, burn one of them. That's heavy. You get all oh, it, well, it's like iron. That. What iron. happens is yeah. um, the iron gets too hot. Wow. And it kind of takes oh, it's to the, pour out um, the, the juices. Out. Yeah. And um, once it dries, I haven't seen that happen. You're yeah. sure it wasn't damaged before? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen stuff that people. What's it say on it? People have done. Yeah. And it just, uh, in my opinion, totally. Victor ruined. England. But maybe if you do a oh. really. Not hot fire or something? Yeah, not, not cherry bread. Yeah. Hi. Hi, would you take 25 for that? I will, yep. Okay, great. Here, I'll hold, hold it. it. Yep. Gosh, the razor time. These new bills are cranking off. There you go. Great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks for coming. Yep. And it's clean to bare metal. It just has coconut oil on it right now. So okay. you need to season it before you're cooking it. Yep. And you guys know about seasoning? Yep. 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 Okay, go for All it. All right. Great. You'll be cooking in no time. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yep. Then you sold something else. Good. Here's an old Walt Disney World bumper sticker. I would guess this is probably from the 80s, just based on the design. And yeah, they're asking 20 bucks for that. No idea if that's a good price or not. And then I thought these picture discs were pretty cool. These old records. The price on those is what the value. Of them is I'll okay. sell them um, like twenty dollars each or a hundred dollars for the whole set. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Once again, I have no idea what they're worth. So anybody out there, let me know. Are those worth twenty bucks a piece in that condition?
Interesting lamp. Made out of an old uh, watt meter. Oh. No, 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 don't touch that. It's not a stereo. It's wow. What is it? Good morning. Hi, how are you? But this was kind of cool. This is an old Sony boombox from the 80s. It's a model CFS 500. What are you asking on the boombox? Online. Okay. They came out with two models that year, a 200 and a 500. That was the 500. Okay. It works. It's got batteries in it. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. That player works too. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> Off, right? Yep, all the way down. Off. Oh, my batteries on me. Yeah, exactly. I did a quick check on eBay, and she does seem to be correct with that pricing for the most part. There are some that sold for a lot less, but they do seem to be averaging 150 to 200 plus shipping. I think a lot of them are for the crane. But you, like I said, you probably know a lot more about it than I do. Barrister's bookcase. Two hundred fifty bucks. Remember, remember, I found that kind of falling apart one for ten dollars on oh. Craigslist. Yes. And it's not in much, much worse condition than that. And I think it's three or four, mm -hmm. three levels. I like this little Volkswagen Beetle model. I'm not sure how old it is. It's hard to tell. It might be from the 70s, but I'm honestly not sure. Of course, no flea market would be complete without a Boston Terrier yes. doorstop. Yes, there it is. Just there. Everything on this table is $5 each. Okay. Stucco Lodge Motel Bangor, Maine. Oh. This ashtray is from Railroads of Adventure. Never heard of that before. I don't usually collect tobacco themed products, but if I were, it would be ashtrays that have like motels on them and things like that. And that says like, it says Wandlin Motels, I think. And this says everything on the blanket is ten dollars each. <clears throat> I like these wood carvings. I have no idea though if they are genuine like antiques or if these are reproductions they do look antique to me but i am by no means an expert and of course my mom found the frog on the ten dollar blanket which i think is a decent deal yeah is his right front leg broken no he's tucked underneath him oh okay that's not bad yep yeah, I would assume so.
I've seen a few toys like this recently at flea markets. Uh, they say Auburn on the side, and they're made out of a uh, rubber type material. But the ones I see almost always seem to be warped, probably from heat, I would guess, over the years. Excuse me, how much are you asking on this? 20. 20? Okay. Thanks. Thirty dollars for a Beatles uh, picture. Huh? Looks like looks like it was maybe a, a book cover or something. It's got this crease down the middle. I'm not sure. Maybe it went on the album. Maybe. I wanted to see. I wanted to see something. There's a neat little dog yeah. bank that oh, kind of looks like a Boston oh, Terrier, yeah, but not quite. The colors yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they're asking 65 for it, which is a little bit too I'm rich for my market. blue. The same one. Yeah. Uh, setting up, and she bought some yeah, stuff. She has no English accent, by the way. Uh, cute, diminutive, he white hair, had her hair pulled back. So, so I have my drums in the car. I had one out. She was only a musician. Two dollars each. Really? That's what it says. Mini frogs. Thank you, man. So, I appreciate right. it very much. Enjoy that. You're gonna love cooking. You're gonna love cooking yeah. and eating the waffles from it. I'll tell you. I'm like excited. And I got Germany coming next weekend, so I feel like waffles. Are nah. Nah. I heard that. You didn't hear that, Ray. You didn't hear that. Somebody, last, last weekend, somebody came to support a lady. And she wanted to know why they were square out. This tin sign here says the new MGP type, which is from the 1930s, but the tag says 1960s, and they're asking 40 bucks. So I think this was probably a reproduction made in the 60s. Could be wrong, but that's what it looks like. No. Hmm. Civil War cards. These were things I remember you'd get these in the mail. It'd be like a monthly subscription you get like a new pack oh, right? every month something like that yep that's exactly what those are i actually still have some from the 80s that i got back when i was a kid and i think they were airplanes and cars they're in my storage units somewhere motorola this is a Motorola radio, probably from the 60s, maybe the 70s, and I did not see a price on it. This ashtray is from a restaurant called Mr. Steak, which I have never heard of. And this one's from the Swept Wing Inn in Seattle. And then this is from Hoff's Hut Restaurant. And they're asking $10 a piece on those. $1.50. Oh, 
dollar each. These are potentially uranium glass. Really? They do. There are some uranium glass pieces that are yellow. Uh huh. But it's hard to tell, and they don't have my I don't have my UV light with me. No. Well, it's in the car. Oh. Is that the Bennington? Provincetown. Oh, Provincetown. Don't know if that's. Hopefully, it's. $22.50 and not $2,250. Yeah, really. It's kind of funny. Why not? Run an experiment to see. And there you have it. That's the Wilmington Flea Market in Wilmington, Vermont. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that there notification bell. I've got a lot more flea markets coming up. And if you want me to come back to this flea market in the future, let me know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.